Welcome, welcome, welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Today, we are making easy, cheesy goulash. But before we get into this video, how about you guys like, comment, and subscribe? And hit that bell down there to be notified. I will be making uh, content daily. So let's get into this video. Right here we have some ground beef. This is 92.8, and we're going to brown this off. It's easy. It's basically, basically like making a spaghetti sauce. And we're going to add in our onion and also green peppers. So we're going to brown all this off together. I'm going to turn the heat up just a tad bit. And then while this is starting to cook, I have my water over here for my pasta noodles. It's boiling. I already added my salt. So here we want to add a little all-purpose seasoning of your choice. Mine is Morton's. I love that brand. Also a little garlic and black pepper. Also we have a little onion powder. So we're going to add all these to the mix. And just continue to stir to everything is incorporated and cook thoroughly. And you know when you're cooking with ground beef, you gotta keep on chopping. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit for a second. And while we are waiting for that, to brown up, we will add our elbow noodles. Okay. So we got those eight added. Quick stir. The water is already sauced. And eight minutes. So when I say 50, we will drain the noodles. I want the noodles al dente. Al dente, guys, because we are going to also cook this in the oven. So I don't want my noodles fully cooked. If you cook your noodles 12 minutes per the box, once you put it in the oven, mm -mm, your noodles will be mushy. So let's go back over to our ground beef. And I chose um, 92.8 because the fat content is not, it's, it's, it's not a high fat content. I didn't want to drain off all that liquid like with uh, ground beef. So I chose that just to make my life easier. It's Wednesday. Hump day. I wanted a quick meal. For the children okay guys you want to keep on breaking this ground beef up especially with goulash you don't want any big chunks of meat you want meat to be incorporated with the cheese and the noodles so we're gonna make sure this is fully chopped up also the um onions in the Bell peppers are also cooked down very well. Okay, you guys. This meal is so easy. But it's fun. It's fun for the kids. <laughs> my, son is, my son is in the background and he said, and tasty. <laughs> this is one of their favorite meals. 
So this is one that I make often. And YouTube, you guys, I will be coming to you daily um, with food, recipes, just whatever I feel like doing that day. Have onions on my stove, oh no, it's from the water. Okay. Continue to brown this meat off. Come, it's coming along good. I raised the heat on the stove because this flat top it doesn't get as high um, or hot as a gas stove. So you might not need to have your stove on medium high. Mine is on medium high for some odd reason. I don't know why. You know, all stoves vary and all that good stuff. Same as ovens. But mine is on medium high. But you don't have to have yours on medium high. I don't know if it's a flat top thing. Because my electric stove doesn't do that downstairs. Okay, you guys. It's looking good. So while, while we are waiting for this to uh, still brown up, we're going to do a quick stir on your pasta. We have four more minutes. We want this pasta al dente. And we don't want it sticking. So we're just gonna get give it a quick stir. And it's coming along great. The ground beef is coming along great. Sizzle, sizzle. Okay, we're gonna let this go for another minute or two. I wanna make sure this ground beef is fully cooked because although it has to go in the oven, it's only in the oven for a quick 20 minutes just for the cheese to melt. So everything else is fully cooked in this dish. So I don't want you to think, oh, well, it has time to cook in the oven and have raw beef. So I want to make sure it's fully chopped up and fully cooked, fully brown. We have all our um, seasonings in there. Actually, we don't. We have two more. We have some um, Italian seasoning and a little brown sugar. I'm going to put in the sauce. I didn't have regular sugar. And the sugar is only to balance out the acidity in the tomato sauce. That's its only purpose. We don't want sweet gula. Uh oh. Oh, we had a catastrophe. So we're going to take that off. Okay. We have two more minutes on the noodle, on the elbow noodle. And also, my ground beef is also ready. So, I forgot to say, I used a whole box of elbow noodles. A whole pound. Whole box. Okay, you guys, I will return. I'm going to strain these noodles and I will return and we will put this together. Okay, okay, guys, we are back and I did add the tomato sauce. I used a whole jar of the Prego and probably just a quarter of this one. And I only wanted to use this one because it's cheese, three cheese. And this is cheesy goulash. So I'm going to add to the salt a little Italian seasoning and the brown sugar. 
And like I said, the sugar is just to reduce the acidity in the tomatoes. And we are gonna stir this very good and let this simmer for 30 minutes. Okay, you guys, I will return when this sauce is ready. And once this sauce is ready, we can put this dish together. Okay, guys, we are back. It has been 30 minutes. I went, I went ahead and put the noodles inside of the sauce because I'm holding this camera with one hand, so it was hard to do it. So all you wanna do is stir this together. And then we are going to add some cheddar cheese. Now this cheese, I just started using Tilmock cheese, but it is so good, you guys. So if you see it at the grocery store and it's on sale, give it a try. You will not be disappointed. I actually don't think that's enough for the inside. Be right Okay, you guys don't know my boys. They love meat and cheese, so I'm gonna add a tad bit more. Oh, I didn't notice this. This is sharp cheddar, and this is medium cheddar. Hmm. Okay, you guys, we're gonna stir this all together, get it well incorporated. Then we, then we will be baking this in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, you guys. We got the goulash all mixed up. We also put it in the pan. I could not do that with one hand. And we will top it with mozzarella cheese. And this is about a cup left in this bag right here. Spread it all over the top. And like I said, this goulash will be very cheesy. Now you don't have to put the goo, I mean, you don't have to put the um, cheese inside the goulash. This is just how my family likes it. I will not be eating this because I'm on a keto diet. So I will not be partaking in this greatness. And it's, and, and it's that simple, you guys. Have cheese everywhere, but I'm about to clean it up. This is ready for the oven. Like I said, 20 minutes on 350. My oven is already preheated, so let's take it to the oven. Okay, you guys. The goulash is complete. There you have it. Easy, cheesy goulash. So let's just scoop a little bit of this out to see how it look. It's not dry. Mmm, nice and cheesy. Now, doesn't that look delicious? I wish I could taste it, but I can. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching my video. Like I said, I'm new to YouTube, but I enjoy cooking, making videos, and running my mouth, of course. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. I will be having content daily. Thank you. Bye-bye.